We're going to find the x-coordinate of the centroid of an area bounded by this equation. It's not written as a function. It's written as an equation. So we're going to have to do a little work there. Uh, and we go uh, bounded below by y equals 0, which is the x-axis. So that's nice. And x equals 5 to x equals 7. So our a is 5, our b is 7. Now, we, what is a centroid? We need the formula for that. That's in page 207 of the book. We're going to go look at that. So this is center of mass of a thin plate in the xy plane. Um, it, it needs to be bounded above by continuous function f of x, below by the x-axis. We have all that. And left and right by lines x equals a, x equals b. That's fine. Now this uh, row denoting the density of the associated Lamina, uh, what actually ends up happening is the rows are going to cancel out here uh, when you do the, we have this over here on the right side. When you do that division, the rows will cancel out so they don't matter. Or you could just say that they're one. That works also. And you're basically going to have in the numerator, you have M. Oops, I should be over here. Your numerator, we want this X coordinate of the centroid. Uh, which is my over little m. So my is here, it's rho integral a to b, x, f of x, dx. And then little m, the total mass, is rho integral a to b, just f of x, dx, without the x, f of x, dx. All right, so I have those written down. We're just gonna find each of those. So first of all, what's our function of x? Let's go ahead and take care of that first. So we have, let's see. Do that above right here. We want a function of x, y as a function of x, so it's 1 over. Now, x squared minus 16, and of course we can write that as factored x minus 4, x plus 4. And that is a uh, difference of squares, also known as conjugate factoring. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that in each of these here. That's our f of x function. So we got rho integral from 5 to 7. Now multiply it by x. You have x on the top. x minus 4x plus 4. Well, actually, in this one, let's, start, let's leave it as uh, x squared minus 16. Little m. That was big m y, little m, rho integral 5 to 7. Our f of x is just a 1 over x minus 4, x plus 4. OK, so why did I write 1 as factored and 1 not as factored? Let's look at the uh, one I didn't write as factored. All right, you can use partial fractions here. It's definitely a reasonable thing to do. However, in my particular case, uh, I can make a really nice u substitution. Let u equal x squared minus 16. du is 2x dx. And I don't have a 2, so I'll write it as 1 half du equals x dx. I have my x dx right there. And I don't have anything left over, so I can go ahead and make this a row 1 over 2 integral, let's see, 1 over u du. I already brought that 1 half out. Antiderivative 1 over u is ln. And I don't, uh, I don't put my endpoints in yet because I have to go back to axes first. So we have x squared minus 16. Now I'm going from 5 to 7. So now I can plug these in. So we have uh, ln of ooh, 7 squared is 49 minus 16. Minus ln 25 minus 16. These aren't going to get much better. 49 minus 16 is something, 
minus ln 25 minus 16 is 9. So that's as good as it's going to get here. Okay. Your problem might be a little different. You may actually have to go partial fractions. So yours might be more similar to what we're about to do over here. So I'll go and finish the partial fractions on this side. Okay, so we'll do partial fractions down below here. All right, now if you're doing the other one there uh, with that X on the numerator, the only difference instead of having a one here, you're gonna have an X over here. So you just have to pay attention. You're gonna have an X on the left and the right side. So when you plug in some X values, make sure every single X gets replaced by that value. Okay, so your first steps always multiply by the denominator. Now that'll cancel out on the left side completely. You're just left with whatever is in your numerator. For me, it's one equals. So a is multiplied by the x minus four is cancel. So you have x plus four plus b x minus four. Okay. Now we can let x equal some different values here. The two smart values are negative four. So let's do that first. Uh, so that'll be a times zero, because negative four plus four is zero. And plus b, negative four minus four. So that's negative eight b equals one. Negative one eighth equals b. All right, we're gonna plug that back in for b. Not there, up at the original. Up there. That's we have minus an eighth. All right, so what's the smart value here? We're going to let x equal positive four now. It's going to cancel that out to zero. And we're going to have 1 equals a times 4 plus 4, a times 8, divide by 8, 1 eighth equals a. All right, if you did have uh, the x over here instead of a 1, just remember you're going to have an, you're going to have an x here and an x here. So when you plug in these values, you need to plug in the value over here for x as well. Okay, so I'm ready to take these values. Our, let's see, our b was negative one eighth. That's not one, it will be, a was positive, so it's one eighth over x minus four plus negative an eighth over x plus four dx. All right, so how do we do this? This is gonna be natural log. Remember, this; these are just numbers here, so those are constants. The antiderivative of d is gonna be ln x minus four, and your constant is gonna be out front, minus one eighth ln x plus four, we're gonna go from five to seven. All right, I need some more room, so I'm gonna cheat and just make it. Ooh, that made the left look messed up. Okay, hopefully you saw it before and copied it down. Okay. Now we're gonna plug in the seven and then the five. Uh, before we do that, let's get that eighth out of there. It's in both. So we'll write this as a row times an eighth. Ln x minus four minus ln x plus four from five to seven. And 
five minus four is one. And of course, ln it looks really bad when I write absolute value of one. It looks like ln of 111, just ln of one minus ln seven plus four is seven. Minus ln, whoa, what am I doing? Five plus four is nine. Now we're gonna be using the seven. Seven minus four is three. Minus ln seven plus four is 11. I don't think it's gonna get any better than this. ln one is zero, that's nice. So negative ln nine minus ln three plus ln 11. Okay, so last step is plug these back into the original, way up somewhere, there it is. All right, so little m, the rows are gonna cancel, you'll see that very soon. other one is one half, row one half. And there you can see the rows canceling. Ooh, times something. We got ln 33 minus ln 9. All right, so this is quite a doozy of a fraction to type in. You know, your rows are canceling out, but there's really not much else that cancels out. You can do play a little bit with these numbers, write the 8 on top, the 2 on the bottom, but that's really about it. The rest you just kind of have to type it in. And uh, there you go.